What up, y'all? T Skip here, and today we're back on the PTR to have a look at the new Druid form customizations. Now, obviously, this is the PTR, and this is a very early look. So, as of October 12th, this is what they've implemented into the PTR as of now. Now, you can obviously tell that there's some that are missing, and there's some on there, like the Legion skins, they're not showing. Obviously, you know they're not going anywhere, so there's definitely work being done. Um, I'll talk a small bit how I think you can get them. Uh, I know they come from these things called marks, and I, my guess is a lot of them come from drops, but they could come from anywhere. I'm also going to link a Wowhead page. It doesn't really tell you a whole lot, but it gives you a, a view of a lot more that could potentially be in the game. Um, at the end of the video, I'm also going to talk about two glyphs that inscriptions can make that could add on to more of the customizations. So anyways, let's go ahead. Oh, and also, uh, I'm putting timestamps in the video. So if you don't want to watch the whole video and you just want to see the new Moonkin or you want to see the new cow, uh, cat forms or any of that kind of stuff, you can just skip around to whatever you like. But anyways, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with the new bear forms, but I wanna just uh, talk very quickly that a lot of these I feel like are drops and I'll show a picture right here. Uh, that's what it is, it's marks. So you'll just have to collect those somehow, which I guess there's all kinds of different activities that you can get these. And then when I hover over the different models, there'll be a thing that says source. And that's where as of now, where it will drop. It could always change, but if you'd like to look at the name, you could pause the video right there and then, you know, Google and figure out what uh, mob that'll be. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go to bear forms. And as you can see, these are the only ones implemented right now. Like, you know, they haven't gotten rid of them. They just haven't added them yet. But let's go ahead and start with the big boy, the rune bear. See, as you can see right there where it says the source, uh, if you want to pause it at any time and just type in or store the hibernating and look them up but each one I'll have them some of them have question marks which I guess are secrets or whatnot but there's the front now if we go to the side the dude looks pretty cool and the back so this is the only rune bear that they have implemented on the PTR as of now. So the next two are the bristle brooms, which is there's the front. There's the side. And there is the back. So the next one will be right here darker version side and now the back so now it's time for the owl bears so there's the front and there's the side as you can see these have a uh, longer tail on them and there's the back if we go to the next one. Side. And the back. And for the last one, here's a darker model with blue eyes. So there's the front. The back. And the side. Alrighty, so now let's jump into the cat forms. So as right now, there's only three new cat forms implemented and they're called the Dream Sabers. So the first one up in the list is the blue one. So there's the front. There's the side. And there is the back. I do like the glow and the bark looking. It's a new different. Almost kind of like this one, but uh, the next one will be the purple. 
get the side of this one and the back and then the last one will be the green one and the side and then the back all right, so the next one's gonna be the flight form. I'm saving the Boomkin for last because it has the most cosmetics uh, to talk about. So for the flight forms, the big boys up first. This is the Flames Guardian. Now this is a cool looking flight, man. I do like this one. Uh, spirit or BM hunters can tame uh, one that looks like this as a spirit beast, but as a druid, I mean that's a that's a cool flight map. So there's the front. Let's go to the side. And let's go to the back. Now, what the rumor is right now, uh, I don't know if there's any guarantee or not, but you attain this form uh, by attaining the mythic mount. So as of right now, there's no nothing's been said if there will be a low drop chance like the other mythic mounts and nothing's been said if you obtain it uh on a different class that it would unlock this form for your druid so those are two questions we don't know and honestly i don't know if they will say anything or not because the last i think the last two bosses are not going to be on the ptr so there's a good chance we'll have to wait till this thing goes live to see if that's how it works. So I just wanted to quickly mention that. Um, I'm not positive on that. We'll have to see. So the next two are two new owl forms. Now let's get to the front of this one. Let's jump to the side. And the back. now let's check out this one this one doesn't have a source i have an idea that it could come from uh, some kind of quest line and they just don't want it to be a spoiler but who knows i'm not positive on that this one does look good though all righty so that's the flight farms uh, let's jump into the aquatics so as of right now there's only one aquatic form and it looks like the mount you get for purchasing the six months game time uh, it's kind of hard if i go over here to the appearance shop it like zooms way out but if you want to look at it in game you can go to your collections tab and look up right there the wondrous wave whisker that's it right there it just doesn't have the saddle but that uh form i definitely could hear it making the same noises and all that and it's got this dripping I don't know how you could really see that in the water, but uh, it definitely does. So that's the aquatic. Now we will move on to the travel. So there's quite a few travel forms um, on here so far. So if we go to the first one, it's the Raptor Kitties, the Dream Talons. So there's the fir front. Uh, I'll try and do this one a little bit quicker since there's so many of them. Uh, purple and I guess bluish. Now if we go back to the front, there's the front of this one, the blue side, back, all right, three more, red and green, gives it almost the troll colors, all right, this one, purple and blue, And the last one is white and green. All right. And as of right now, there's three stags, the glade hearts. There's the front. I do like the little stone right there. And side. And in oh, the back. And then 
the next color golden and the side and the back now for the last one ashes kind of like that color the brown two browns look good together brown and tan and the back all right, so that's the travel forms. Now we're going to get into the Boomkins. So now we're on to the Boomkins, and they have got a ton of customization, and I'm very happy and glad for all the Boomkin mains out there that have been wanting this for a long time. So once you go here, it'll say, it'll have these colors, and those are just your regular old ones that you've been using. Now, as soon as you go to none, you'll get the Boomkin form, and all this will open up. So, you know, I can actually use these. So I'm guessing, unless they change anything, you'll have it day one. So there's this color, there's this color. And this color, which is like the normal Boomkins. Now there's also this one but Seer of the Flame, I'm guessing it's a drop. Um, it'd be nice if it was just a, a quest line, but I do like that one. But as of right now, for this video, we'll just use, eh, we'll go with that one. So the next uh, customization you got are the horns. And we got Stag High, Stag Low, Grand High, Arch, that one's kind of uh, swirl, grand low, <laughs> big old horns, and now we got horn and beat color, so you can change these colors. Then you can change your beaks. For raptor. And we got eyebrows. So right now there's none. If we add some. Very straight, long droop, very short, long straight. Let's do the long droop. Uh, then we got the whiskers, long droop, braided, thin, thick droop, majestic. Oh yeah, let's change the color so we can see them more. Uh, come on. Nah, we'll just keep it light up for now. And then feathers, uh, standard, long, and short. Now let's do that from the side. Get it. Standard, long, and short. I'll show these from the back too, just so you can see those. See standard, the long, and the short it's 30 long on there for now and then they also have these decorations and this is the one i think super cool right here these effects style but for decorations we got standard gemstones rune feathers leaves or cord uh, now, oh, decoration colors. So you can really get into this. I'm glad they're doing this kind of stuff for the boom because this is a lot more than I was thinking. Oh, that was locked. Uh, same thing. So I guess whatever you do there, it's going to unlock a lot of stuff. Hey, let's just throw that. And then the effects. This is what the one I really like. <clears throat> well, you've got moon. Let's back this up a little bit. Let's 
swirl as you can see that one above the head do that let's go back to uh, swirl real quick and go back to moon so there's the moon and swirl and starlight Nice touch they're doing it in the decorations as well. And uh, body. I guess that's just a big old wave. That is a very nice touch on those. So let's go and swirl for now. And we also got colors. So, darker blue. There's that one that is super cool, but it's still the same drop as the same one, Seer of the Flame. Then, yeah, see that one's more of a fire. So this must be the whole fire druids. And there's an orange, a purple, teal and the yellow so that's a look at the moonkins i think that's pretty rad what they've done so far um let me know what y'all think on there i will show you it was messing up earlier let's see if it's still messed up so if i go to moonkin form oh this one works the other one had me in blocks <laughs> I think he's got a different run animation, does he? I'm not quite sure. I haven't played Boomkin in a while. Let me know if that's a different run animation. Anyways, but now I want to jump over to uh, my uh, inscription and show you two glyphs over there. Alrighty, so now that we're on my inscriptionist, I wanted to show two of these. One, I'm mistaken, it's not a glyph, it's one of the marks. So maybe they will add more into the game, but at least as of right now, which doesn't seem like it costs much other than whatever that is, but this will open up one of the Dreamstag cosmetics. But this is what I really wanted to show off. Glyph of the Lunar Chameleon. So if we hover over it, each time you shape shift into Moonkin form, your shape shifted form will be randomized. So if you're a person that likes to change it up all the time, this would be a great glyph. So every time you did Moonkin, it just looked different every single time, which I think is awesome. And if they don't change it and leave it how it is on PTR, this is very cheap to make. I mean, five of the parchments and only four of the burnished ink. I mean, these would be very easy to acquire so i just wanted to show those off real quick and now i want to jump into the outro so i hope everybody enjoyed the video i know it was a lot clicking here clicking there but it, i hope it gave you some kind of you know inside of some of the forms coming i do think the moonkins got by far some cool stuff coming but for each of the other ones too the flight form the aquatic the bear forms cat forms uh, I wish they would have done something with the trees for uh, healers. That would have been pretty cool. But who knows? It's still PTR. They still bring something into it. Um, also, this is just me talking right now. I hope they do this for all classes. I've been thinking about it. and They've been doing such a good job lately on the customizations, like with the Warlocks and all that stuff. But it would be cool if maybe Warlocks could go out and I guess capture their demons if uh, DKs could go out and capture their uh, scourges maybe rogues could have some kind of secret thing where they have to stay in viz pickpocket disguise maybe paladins go out and gotta do something at temples or whatever to get different aura visuals or something just something for each class I know that's just spitballing but 
I really think it'd be super cool if every class uh, could have, you know, this kind of cool cosmetic features. But anyways, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And until next time, see ya.